Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your week ahead reading March 25th through the 31st. Um, if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. I want to welcome our newest members, the one and only Lori Beth and Michelle and Janice Neal. Welcome. Thank you for becoming a House of Virgo, Virgo Gang member. Super awesome to have you. Personal reading link, you guys, is in the description box below. All right, so we're going to take a look at this week ahead and see what's going on for you and what you need to know, what you need to be aware of this week going forward. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Please keep in mind the messages are fluid. They may or may not resonate. Don't try to make it fit. Okay, so you're starting with passion. Insane chemistry, liking each other equally, and having fun. Okay. Ooh, la la. Good way to start the week, Virgo. All right, let's see. What's going on here? Ooh, we've got a tower moment. Wow, some kind of shocking event happening. <laughs> it's, it's. This is one of those... It's just like ecstasy, you know, like one of it's going to be that Virgo. It's going to be that this is like fire. Like you've blown me away. This is like pure orgasmic kind of energy. Uh, I feel like. So what does that mean? You're going to meet somebody. You're having fun with someone. You find you haven't seen chemistry with somebody. Oh, shoot. Yes, Virgo, we like it, we like it. Knight of Cups, oh yeah. So, I don't know. Is this somebody new? I don't know. Is it somebody old? I don't know. The message here is some extreme passion and a love offer coming in this week. What? 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 Passion, romance. Let's see. Oh my God, you're kidding. Yeah, so, wow, Virgo. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, I, I don't know, y'all. I think this is good. I think the reading's over with. I don't think we need to go any further. I mean, seriously, some kind of wish coming true here for you this week with somebody? Very nice. Very, very nice. Someone is like wild and crazy about you this week. All right, let's see. Jeez, I can't even with these cards. Two aces. Seeds are being planted. We're going to have some growth. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is this is just going to be a complete shock to you. So, it's just an energy. Like the ener there's some kind of shift and change in the energy that's happening this week. Seriously. But it, you know, even with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, this isn't like new. This is a new shift, a new change, and it's going to take you by surprise, Virgo. It's totally going to take you by surprise. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Okay. However, <laughs> somebody's going to be pushing them back against commitment. Okay. So just remember the Knight of Cups is romantic and it's in movement and the two aces are potential, but it's not time to rush into any committed kind of relationship or anything. Nobody, this person is just, they're pushing back on the marriage thing. Okay. So this feels nice, the chemistry, and it feels like having fun with someone this week. Okay. It's just some feel goods, some feel goods for you. Okay. So when someone's showing interest and you haven't seen chemistry, obviously, uh, try not to look at the end game there, the end result. Um, just try to enjoy this, these feelings, this attention that you're going to be receiving <clears throat> and know that just because you're receiving this kind of attention from someone doesn't mean that this is going to be, you know, it could later on turn into something, but this is just the beginning is what I feel like. Now, if you're, you know, it, it depends, like you're all different. Some of you are like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I enjoy that, but I'm not going to get serious with someone who's not trying to have a committed relationship because, you know, you're just not, you know, maybe you will just say, okay, no, that's fine. Thanks for all the attention. Thanks for taking me out. Thanks for wanting to spend time with me. Thanks for giving me these compliments and being romantic and sweet. And thanks for the movies and the dates and having fun and doing things together. Um, but I feel like this person is... 
going to push back on any kind of traditional type of commitment or they're not going to be ready for that just yet they want to kind of skip over that and just have a lot of romantic fun here okay because we go seven to eight hopping right over the hierophant so it's gonna kind of be more or less let's just go out and have a good time companionship yeah yeah definitely potential for like a great partner but you know the hierophant represents traditional roles represents you know traditional values it represents um conf um conformity that kind of thing i think this i think whoever this energy this energy whoever it is coming forward i think it's more just about enjoying the ride and having fun together i really feel like that's what the message is um and putting strong effort into enjoying each other that and seeing chemistry um okay let's see what else Look, another ace. And they're going to give you clarity on that. Like, I feel like this person's going to be up front. Like, I'm not looking to get married anytime soon. I don't know about, you know, I kind of feel like it's appropriate, though, because this feels like somebody new. So I wouldn't expect someone, if you just meet, for them to notice, like, go, like, for you guys to spend some time together and then for them to just, like, within a week, it's too soon. So that might be why this person kind of pushes back on a committed kind of thing, which I think that's pretty normal. Now, there might be a conversation where you're talking with this person. It could be a Scorpio or um, a Taurus, but it could be a conversation where you're talking with this person and they give you clarity and say, I'm not looking for anything committed right now. Or I'm not looking to get, you know, this could be somebody who was married in the past and they don't want to get married again, but they do want companionship, you know, like, so, you know, whatever you want, that's up to you. But I do feel like they will be honest with you with Ace of Swords. Okay. Now, I don't like everybody's situation is unique and different. I don't know what you guys all have going on. Okay. But you have to, like, kind of apply this to your situation. You know, like, is this going to work for you or not? Right? So let's see. Remember, it's a general reading. Yeah. So this is kind of like you need to really take a look. You know, do your inventory check. <laughs> look at your list, Virgo. Is this person going to tick off all the boxes or not? Like, this is, it's totally up to you. I mean insane chemistry and having a good time nothing wrong with that but if you if you want something more you got to be real with yourself you know and if this person tells you they don't want anything more then you have to kind of figure out if that's going to work for you if they tell you they're not ready for that just yet we just started dating what are you crazy <laughs> they might be like never mind <laughs> so yeah i feel like if you're dating on purpose because you're looking for someone that's in alignment with you on the same page, then yeah, it's okay to ask those questions. But if you're just like not trying to get into a relationship with anyone and you're just that Virgo in that time in your life where you're like, I don't want anything serious. I just want to have fun and enjoy my life and, you know, follow my North Star. Um and be at peace and go on dates with someone but nothing serious then maybe this would be all right for you right it just depends but i i will tell you that it's definitely going to be an ego boost to some degree for you for sure this might be something that you you know because the tower is there so that's kind of like a shock all the other cards are good but that's kind of like almost unbelievable that i don't know some of you might be like wow i didn't think anybody would have this kind of interest in me some of you might just soak this up like a sponge and if that's what you need to do that's what you need to do a lot of attention keep its arrows a lot of communication with this person a lot of um maybe travel in the in the future with this person going on trips going places there's great potential okay page of swords here
Hang on. Hmm. Oh, okay. Some of you are going to meet. Now, this is, for some of you, this is um, a professional baseball player at one point in their life. You're going to meet them or you already know them. And they are, like, retired or, you know, they're not such a big deal anymore. Maybe all they have left is their knee. They were a star at one point in their life. So they could be one of those people um, that were kind of like a big deal at one, at one point maybe in the past. Or they're just, maybe people know who they are, but they're not, they're not current current level fame they don't have that kind of thing going on um that was that message that just came to me it might even be like i don't know they're giving me like sam from cheers remember he was a baseball player and then he 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 left baseball because he's a drunk <laughs> he like got kicked out of baseball or something and then he owns a bar so this could be sam malone <laughs> i'm dating myself here sorry yeah somebody like oh yeah like that oh my god yes this is a and you, do you know what's funny in that tv sitcom sam malone was like a player and a baseball player right but he was such a player and diane chambers she was a virgo <laughs> this might be this scenario it oh my god this like what am i telling the cheer story here that kind of relationship like I know everybody hated Diane, but she was like really smart and sassy and she called Sam out on his bullshit and then he played game. like what the hell's going on? <laughs> it's amazing. I you must think I'm weird. I, am I getting weird in, in my old age? Am I doing too many tower readings? What's going on? I'm losing my brain here. But yeah, the, this is the this is the situation. Sam was not a committed kind of guy. Every time he would agree to commit, Diane would just leave him, like, no. Like, <laughs> All right, stop. Enough. Get on with the reading. I know, I hope, if any of you are in your 20s, you have no idea what I'm talking about, probably, and that's okay. Maybe you do, but I know my older crew, my Gen X and Boomers, I know they know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so that's kind of what I, I feel is going on here with this person like they have some level of fame but they're not a big deal anymore but they can't commit they would just rather kind of just enjoy their life and have fun and seeing chemistry and passion this person's turned into like a loner we get the virgo card here this person's kind of like a loner they don't have a lot of money and they have a lot of great heart aches why they're not committing just yet king of cups here is that their first court card oh well, besides the virgo card here yes cancer scorpio pisces uh kind of a loner they got a lot of losses they have more outs than they do they have more strikes than they do wins more outs than they do wins not a lot of balls <laughs> yeah yeah this person um hmm i don't know start off good virgo you might just be like you know what no thanks that's all right thanks thanks just yeah i'll go out and have something to eat with you but that's it thank you goodbye next i kind of feel like virgo this person's like um they're very lonely well it's a story what is the story yeah virgo <laughs> Oh, Virgo, you're on some kind of like hot magic. That's what you're on right now. You're on some kind of hot magic. You're looking for a soulmate. So what does that mean? I mean, I kind of feel like your energy here is like, yeah, you'll, you're you down with the insane chemistry and having fun, you know, and having something new. I don't see you really getting attached. I kind of, I kind of feel like you're, you're looking for that, that alignment here with the two of cups. Not even looking. You just know it when it comes. I don't feel like you're going to feel that with this person. I feel like it's more like uh, just some passing the time with someone here, Virgo. Because like I said, you got some hot, hot magic going on here. Now, you might have that with this person. But just remember, I mean, you guys might come and meet like in the middle here. 
because it is pretty hot and passionate and and magical the feeling you might you might like you'll be all right if the, if it's reciprocated right which i feel like it will be but as far as commitment i don't know about that it, it could happen later but i don't i'm not really seeing that i feel like the person would be more committed emotionally to um receiving the love and you know having the the emotional aspect of it to some degree but not like the conforming part i don't see this person conforming to a traditional role of like i don't know husband wife boyfriend girlfriend which i mean if you're in high school fine but you know if you're an adult what's this you know i think like companionship or husband wife is probably more appropriate for adults I think the boyfriend girlfriend thing when you're like after 40 is kind of childish and if you don't like it too bad you can click off i just feel like that's very immature you know like kids when they're in school you know adolescents have boyfriend girlfriends because they can't get married and they're too young to say hey that's my companion that's stupid so yeah i, I feel like grown-ups get into committed relationships where they date and then they get married they don't stay boyfriend girlfriend forever and ever or they say exclusive companionship, my exclusive companion, like we're not sleeping with other people, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, I don't know, just kind of silly. So you would entertain the, the idea if, you, if this person was on the same page. So if you are not looking for conformed conformity, like a marriage kind of situation, but you're all right with like exclusive companionship, it would be good between the two of you. But I feel like it's got to be reciprocal. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're going to remain open to what you need, which is good. That's what you should do. Not remaining open to what another person needs. You know, you can consider their needs, but you have to get your needs met. Like, if you're not doing that, what are you doing? You're just a slave for somebody? Like, it's got to be reciprocal. Right? Right. So this week... You're definitely going to be getting a lot of, like, romantic attention. And I think it'll be a lot of fun and challenging and flirty and that kind of energy. Um, is there potential for it to grow? Yes, absolutely. Will it grow? I don't, I don't know. Perhaps. But I, I feel like it's all going to be based on you and if you want, like, what you want. So be honest with yourself. So I was just going to say, what's going on with you? If it's too stressful to be together, like be honest with yourself about that. If that's not, is that not going to work for you? Or if you spend this time with this person, enjoying the companionship and all, and um, something changes and they want more and you don't, you got to be honest like can you make that work or not or it would be too stressful with yourself like it's all about being honest with yourself and not being fearful of losing anyone you know and even if it means that you need to compromise to some degree because you don't want to lose someone be honest with yourself about that too like what do you want hmm yeah, this, this is turning into like, okay, this this seems to be turning into like what you want, Virgo, here. Because here's the Three of Cups. This is like, don't want to date, be social, friendly, nothing serious. Or is that is that too restrictive and will I feel uncomfortable and, you know. Um, yeah, I feel like this week is definitely going to be about you asking yourself, what do I want? What do I want to do? Am I okay with this? Am I not okay with this? Okay. Um, but I do see somebody here really being like wild and crazy about you this week showing up this week well there you go the connection is passionate but not enduring so it might just be strictly sexual that's what the passion is if that's all right with you hey have at it have a good time if that's not going to work for you then say so if that's a relationship that you've been in let's say you've been online with someone on the computer having this thing if that's not fulfilling put away the computer 
right? If you've been doing that with someone or if it's just been like on the phone, it's not working. It's the connection is passionate. There's definitely passion and attraction. But passion, you know, it's not enduring. Passion, if it were, people wouldn't leave their marriages. <laughs> people generally leave their marriage because either they don't feel respected, they don't feel like they're being listened to or acknowledged or heard, or the passion's gone. And leaving a relationship because the passion's gone after so many years is not a good enough reason because passion ebbs and flows. Passion can be brought back into a relationship as easily as it can go away. It has to be manifested all the time on both ends. But if the lack of acknowledgement and being heard and there's disrespect and lack of appreciation, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. So if the relationship is just strictly sexual, it's just strictly passionate and it's not, you know, enough you want more than that, then you got to consider that. But if you don't want more than that, and it's just and you're okay with that, then know when to, you know, <laughs> turn around and lock in elsewhere so you can give yourself a break. Because passion, <laughs> passion is like, it can be a detriment to your soul if you get too much of it. It's like drinking vodka, bottle of vodka every single day. All right, let me see. Oh, yeah, there you go. Does the situation align with your values and morals? That's the question. Ask yourself, right? Is this what I want? Do I want this on a continuous basis? Or do I want more than that? Okay, this person will be longing for you. There is definitely a, a yearning. And even to some degree in secret, even if you don't want to be with this person, that is not going to go away. You might actually reject this person. Take some time apart. I reject. It's interesting, Virgo, because I always feel like your readings resort back to you having to take a look at yourself. Because And they should, really. Like, focusing on the other person is one thing. Trying to understand the other person, fine. I bet, but if you don't know for sure, then you don't know. You have to look at yourself. You have to, like, live for yourself. You have to make decisions about your needs. You know what I mean? Like... If you're in a difficult situation, trying to figure out what's wrong with them is not going to help you, really. Maybe temporarily it might put a band-aid for you to help you cope with something, but I feel like if you take a look at yourself and say, hey, what is wrong with me? Why am I okay with this? Or why am I not okay with that? And get real with yourself. I feel like you do a lot better in life if you go in that direction than worrying so much about what other people are doing or not doing. Or if they're going to change or not going to change, you know. Passion, strictly passionate type relationships can last. But then they are a lot of work. It's much easier just to have someone to connect with. All right. You've got intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest in money. And you have perseverance. Perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. All right. Nature, interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, by the ocean. This will be good for your soul and healing for you, Virgo. Okay. And you have twists and turns. Carefully made plans can be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with this upheaval. Hmm. Well, like I said, you have a tower card. So for some of you, the upheaval is that someone's wild and crazy about you out of nowhere, out of the blue. And it might just be all you need this week, Virgo, just to be like, all right, let me get back up on this horse. And if that's the case, fine. Enjoy it right nothing wrong with that for you little self-esteem boost is good for the soul um i don't see virgos getting it letting it go to their ego not generally um but i feel like it's too early to jump into anything serious with this person coming forward but at the same time if that's something you're looking for, you know, it could change. But if they tell you, nah, that's not what I'm looking for. I just want to be casual. And that doesn't work for you, then just be like, all right, I'm out. See you. Unless you can handle it. 
and that's you're okay with that like it just depends I can't tell everybody what to do here so you could be born in the year of the dog the year of the dragon the year of the horse the year of the pig I have a horse again the year of the rooster double rooster the year of the goat the year of the tiger and year of the monkey okay if that's you great if not don't sweat it see you can get initials of this person you are you are this person okay the letter b b e let it be virgo the letter e september 18th someone is 35 the letter m august 31st 1972 Letter L, the letter I, Lee. We got Melly, Bell, Bella, Mel. Someone's 55. The letter F. Someone lives in Florida. 1887. Someone's in Montana. January. Okay. The letter R. Uh, someone's in France, Louisiana. Someone's 52. Uh, someone lives in Boise, Idaho. Okay, September 7th. The letter A. Double A. A, A. Okay, someone's in Orlando. 1973. Someone's in Texas. Okay, 1962, September 20th, someone is 48. Let me get all of these. All right, 1983, someone's 45. The letter T, September 1st, the letter L, someone's born in April. April 1st, April Fool's Day is coming. Um, August 29th, there it is again. I guess that's going to be showing up September 10th. All right, let's see the sign you're dealing with here. We have Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Cancer. No, I do not have my gloves on tonight. Aries, Scorpio, Virgo, Libra again. Leo, Gemini, Taurus and Aquarius. Okay. And then we'll get your charms. What the heck is this? Oh, you got the Dove of Peace. You have a dove with an olive branch. Okay. I come in peace. Someone's bringing a peace offering to you. Oh. Wow. Okay. That looks like a four leaf clover with a diamond and it's red. That's an initial. There's a four, a red four leaf clover. I don't even know if they exist. I guess maybe. Whoa, the light just went out. <gasps> Weird. Okay, four leaf clover. We also have tennis rackets. So somebody plays tennis or does something with tennis rackets. Very significant. Oh, all right. We have a key with a blue heart. So you might have a key ring or keys that have a blue heart. I also have a butterfly for transformation. You got a Hamsa with a star in it. There's the key with the blue heart and the butterfly. Hamsa with a star in it. I've never seen that before. That's protection. I'm trying to flip this. Out. Oh, oh, that is so cute. A strawberry with a red heart. Oh, I just saw vanilla yogurt dipped strawberries. Do they make them? Or white chocolate dipped strawberries? Somebody's eating them or likes them. And, oh, you've got, this is some kind of a shell, like clam shells or mussels. Somebody's got mussels. What the hell is that? I'm trying to see it, y'all. Oh, scallops? Something to do maybe with scallops or seafood. Something to do with like 
shelled seafood. Maybe you're eating some seafood, shelled seafood, or you like that. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoy that for the week. So yeah, be prepared. Lots of, um, I feel like this might be somewhat of a continuation of yesterday's read or the weekend's reading where there was a lot of love and communication that's still going on. But there is something here about either not desiring to be in a committed relationship just yet or in the future, or um, it's just someone, it's too early to talk about that or to be sure about that. But definitely a lot of um, still wanting to connect, still wanting um, to, to be with you or to do things with you or be, have romantic nights or things like that, you know, spend a lot of love energy on you. Okay, so take it with a grain of salt. Again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below the video. Um, and if you would like to become a member of my channel, just click the join button. It's $2.99 per month and you guys can get super cool emojis. If you remember before, you can rejoin and you'll just gain your status back for however long you were a member. Cool little badges and I'll give you shout outs when you become a member, right? All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you had a great weekend and I will see you back here tomorrow night. All right, take care. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.